Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Except for some cold temperatures on Thursday, the weather at Hillbilly Days was all sunshine, and that brought out huge crowds both Friday and Saturday. Huffman Avenue out here, you couldn't walk down the street without, without detouring through the parking garage, so that was really pretty good. Jordan Gibson, president and CEO of the Southeast Kentucky Chamber of Commerce, says except for a couple of vendors with some last-minute conflicts, the festival was at capacity as far as booth space is concerned. But every year we try to reach about 270, 280, depending on how big their booth uh, space is, uh, vendors on the street. This year everyone left happy because we had no rain. And that translates into good news financially for both the Chamber and the Shriners, the group that Hillbilly Days was created to support. We handle all the finances, all the expenses, we pay all the bills. We pay for the electricity that the vendors use and all the labor involved in, in it. And at the end of the day, we split the proceeds or the profits 50-50. Each year we're able to donate about $70,000 or more uh, to the Shriners. And over the last 42 years, that financial support has added up. Our records don't go back that far. The Shriners Hospital in Lexington, they've had some issues and their records don't go back that far. But they tell us they estimate about $3 million over these 42 years that we've raised for the hospital and the, and the children there. That being said, Gibson says planning has already begun for the 2019 festival. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.